Hi to guys, so I'm currently getting ready for my high school reunion. It's my 20th year, 20 years since I graduated high school. I graduated in 2003. Oh gosh, that was such a long time ago. Um, Yeah, getting ready, doing some natural looking makeup, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna wear the red dress um, and I'm gonna meet my sister and some more schoolmates or alumni um, later on today. Right now I think it's about an uh, hour and a half until it starts at 6. So I'm just getting ready early, making sure my makeup looks nice. I'm gonna wear some shorts underneath the dress because it's decently length skirt on the bottom but I just want to wear some shorts just in case it's like a gust of wind it is quite windy and I'm gonna be like in a park or like an open outdoor area so I don't want to have like a Marilyn Monroe moment go on so yeah I'm just doing my makeup and um I guess I'm just gonna chat with you guys about how I feel about everything as far as it being oh it being 20 years since I graduated high school. I'm trying to prop you guys up on here. So I think it's okay. Some of my vitamins and body spray fell down, but that's fine. Uh, so yeah, I graduated in 2003. I was an extremely shy and nerdy kid. I know everybody always says that, but that's so true about me. Um, I really didn't go out to parties. I didn't really drink or anything like get into any underage drinking or drugs or anything like that. I just um, mainly focused on my schoolwork and basically academics. I graduated with more credits than I needed to. Um, for prom, I didn't even want to go to prom, but it was a freshman that wanted to go really bad. His name was Kevon. He was like, please take me, I'll pay for everything. Oh, just please. And I was a senior. So if you got seniors to take you when you were a freshman, then it was okay. So I was like, all right, I went. Um, I just went to the one prom. I didn't go to the after party, the after set. Everybody always go to like this water park in Wisconsin called the Wisconsin Dells. It's like the world's largest water park. I didn't go, I just went straight home. Um, what else about me in high school? I had a lot of credits, so I was able to um, leave school early and have like a half a day. So I only went to school like half of the time and then the other half I worked and my first job was at Old Country Buffet. It's like, an, I think it's a nationwide chain, but we don't have one here in my town anymore. Um, comment below if you have one where you live. It's very old-fashioned. They have like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, I think I was about 15 when I started working there, or 14, and I had to get like a work permit from the city to allow me to work there. And I could only work like a certain number of hours a day and a certain number of hours a week. I got paid minimum wage back then. It was 1999, I want to say, and I got paid. It was either three dollars and fifteen cents. Yeah, I think that's how much it was because you had to make two dollars in tips. So you made three fifteen, and you were supposed to get two dollars to equal five dollars and fifteen cents, and that's how much the minimum wage was back then. So now I hear the young people talking about they don't make enough money, and I'm like, back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> I only made this much and plus another thing at the old country buffet nobody really tipped because you didn't really do anything you just took like the dirty dishes off of the table you didn't bring them their food you didn't bring them a water or beverages they just got everything you would just pay at the door and then someone would seat you and then you would go to the buffet and get whatever you needed so I don't know. I was a bus person. I would take the dirty dishes in the back and to the dishwashers and then I would um, clean off the tables when the guests would leave. I think I quit when I got my first check. And my first check was like $21. <laughs> I guess I should tell you guys what I'm using for 
um my makeup i'm using the lip lip tinted super hue brightening eye cream i don't have dark circles under my eyes i'm really thankful that i don't but i still like to use this little cream because i was laying down and i was trying to take a nap but i didn't i wasn't able to take a nap so i feel like this is going to make me look more hopefully look more refreshed and awoke and i love the lip tinted products because it's a woman of color that owns it and i like the formula everything is vegan and cruelty free and just made for people um of color and people with pigmented skin and people without pigmented skin to be honest like any type of person can use their products so i have this is the brightening cream eye brightening cream it's called super hue and then i also have their super yeah, super hue um what is this hyper pigmentation serum stick so i use this and this has sunblock in it as well so i think i'm gonna put a little bit of that on my face and it just comes like a little stick that you roll up like this and you just apply to your face wherever you feel like you need it i just get like my cheeks my forehead my nose area and my chin and just a little bit of it goes a long way not too much it looked like i was digging at my nose earlier but i wasn't i was just putting my nose ring in <laughs> um yeah in high school i just really wasn't about partying and things like that i was more into my academics and really focusing on school and saving up like during my high school years um okay i'm gonna put some blush on i got this from alta it's called baby got blush from essence i think it's like another person of color that has this brand and i just really like this color it's a nice little peach pink color but um yeah in high school then it was just like a lot going on in my life at home like personal things um i have a video up about not not like going into detail about it but like about drug abuse and things like that and my upbringing and unfortunately it's still happening um with a member of my family but you know i'm just trying to work through it and really focus on my life oh my skin gets so red it gets like really red and then i have to stop touching it and let it like calm down a little bit but the other product i like to use is the lip tinted hue glow and this is in dawn it says apply to face and body for everyday moisture and glow wear alone or over makeup so i don't use like contour i don't use highlighter i don't use foundation i don't use bronzer i don't use anything like that um my routine is very simple i don't know i don't just i don't put a lot of things on my face i just don't like like face beat and things like that i don't like that type of look for myself but i normally just put this on my cheek area or um like a little highlight right there and then um i think i might actually add it to my lotion i have some lotion here i'm gonna put all over my body and it gives like a little sparkle a little shine just a little something nice i'm not gonna wear my hair extra special it's just in this bun um, I feel like the dress is going to speak for itself. It's that nice, pretty red color because our colors for high school were scarlet, scarlet and gray or scarlet, white and gray. Even though the dress isn't scarlet, color is red and this is in the same family. So I'm going to wait for my face to calm down a little bit. And then now I'm going to put in these little earrings. If you look, they're like little horseshoes they just pop right in your ear and something simple and easy like i said i don't want to do anything too outrageous i'm not going to be out here for that long it's like a beer garden type of thing you guys know i don't drink i'm two and a half years sober um so i'm gonna stay out here for maybe two hours starts at six probably leave at eight maybe sooner um i have to be to work tomorrow at 7 a.m so um, even though I live right down the street, it depends on how the night is going. Like I said, I really don't know who's all coming. We have like a Facebook group and it seems like quite a bit of people are going. So I'm really excited about that. 
some people couldn't make it because they're out of town or they just don't even live in the town anymore like they moved a long time ago but yeah it'll be exciting to um just catch up with people i haven't seen in a long time i went to my 10 year high school reunion 10 years ago and it was very clicky and i kind of feel like it was like that because it was inside like in a building and it was like the jocks the cheerleaders the bookworms the emo people or whatever like i don't know it was just weird but enough of me talking and rambling i'm gonna finish my makeup and then i'm gonna show you guys the completed look with the dress and everything when i'm ready to go and head out this location is about 15 minutes away from where i live so it's not that far so i'm really excited a little bit nervous but it's been so long since i've seen some of these people and i feel like i still look the same but it will be interesting to see what they look like and how their lives have unfolded are they married do they have children do they live here what's going on so yeah i'll just show you guys what i look like when i'm all done and another thing to tell you guys today is this little girl's birthday happy birthday bisu huh happy birthday babes yeah bisu is five five years old today hey Hey, little girl. <laughs> She's just chilling. Waiting for mommy to... Probably waiting for mommy to leave to jump on the kitchen counter and do things you're not supposed to do, huh? Huh, Bisu? <laughs> mommy, baby. Happy birthday, babes. Huh? <laughs> She's over it. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm all ready. This lighting is not the best, but it's the best that I have right now because it's getting kind of dark outside, but this is what I look like. I have some black flats on, and this is the little red dress. I decided to wear my hair back in a low ponytail. Here's the back of the dress. I'm kind of having trouble with the bra straps, but I feel like it's okay doesn't look bad um i just hope nobody thinks i'm pregnant <laughs> i feel like this is a dress that would like somebody with a baby bump would wear but i don't know i'll just say i don't have any children or anything like that i don't know <laughs> um yeah i'm really ha happy with it happy with my makeup and the way everything turned out something nice and simple i was gonna I think I'm going to wear a little ball in my hair. And yeah, this is what it looks like with the flats. Because it's outdoors, I was going to wear um, some pink pumps with it. But I felt like with the grass and everything, like it probably wasn't a good idea at all. So, yeah, this is my little outfit. So I'm going to be leaving in a couple of minutes. I don't know why I'm like nervous. I have butterflies in my stomach. But... I'm excited as well. <laughs> See you guys when I get there.
Good morning, you guys. So yesterday was my 20-year high school reunion. It was a good time. About 25 of us showed up. It was a couple people that couldn't make it because they couldn't find a babysitter or um, they live out of town now where everybody kind of moved around and kind of is doing their own thing. Some people actually came from out of town. That was nice. It was good to catch up with people and see how their lives were going. Um, I didn't get any pictures really. I just posted some videos um, on my social media and then um, of course the footage that I'm gonna have in this vlog. But um, I didn't eat any food and I didn't get anything to drink because we went to like a beer garden and I don't drink alcohol. So I mean I'm pretty sure they had soda and things like that but I was just sitting around the fire pit with everyone else and just reflecting on high school and if we could go back in time then what would we do different and I definitely said for myself that I would be more social I was so reserved and like so shy during high school I really didn't talk to anybody I really wasn't in the party scene um and not not saying that I had to be but I just feel like now I'm older and I like to meet new people and like to chat with people and um kind of pick their brain and just really make connections with people definitely see the growth in myself there so yeah it was a good time um i dressed up i i was gonna wear like sweatpants and a t-shirt but then i'm like no let me just wear something that i normally don't wear and my sister ended up showing up with one of our other alumni classmates and it was a good time i guess it was um another high school's uh, 20th year reunion downtown here in Racine and then actually it was like 250 year celebrations too so that's that's awesome hopefully we can get together for that that'll be great but yeah I don't know it was a good time it was it was good to get out the house I stayed later than I said I was gonna stay so obviously I was enjoying myself <laughs> Well, it's time for me to get up in here and go to work. So, I'll uh, catch you guys later.
whole day today. Um, I actually had a meeting. I didn't film everything, but I had a meeting with my student advisor at Gateway. And then I got my um, picture taken for my ID. I got my financial reward package. I haven't accepted anything yet. And I only need one book for the uh, whole semester, which is very good. But yeah, my sister had her interview. She said it went well. It was super quick and straight to the point. The hotel, I don't know if it's a national chain or not. I've never heard of it before. It's called Verdant or Verdant. Verdant, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and it has to do something with foliage. So there was like a lot of greenery, a lot of openness. Um, I don't remember what the building used to be before it was the hotel, but we have a lot of like vacant old buildings in my small town that people are definitely turning around and making them into different type of properties. Oh, this sun. <laughs> turning them uh, into different type of properties and it's really exciting for the little town to see it flourishing and you know, we have our bad moments just like any small town but it seems like the people that live here and the people that are investing in it they really want to make it nice and safe and comfortable for people to live and of course bringing more job opportunities and things like that to the town uh i'm really excited i hope my sister gets the job i'll let you guys know what happened in the next uh vlog i think next week sometime i'm gonna try to hit the trails i used to go to our local parks quite often when i was younger and walk around on the trails and just you know be in nature and try to be away from the chaos back at home i'm kind of missing that now that i'm older and to be honest i haven't been in the best mindset i've been an emotional roller coaster um I'll just start crying at the drop of a dime for no reason, or there's a reason behind it, but, and I'm also on my moon, so, um, I don't know. I think I, I need to just be more consistent with my burn boot camp membership as well as my yoga practice. I haven't really been on my mat in a while. Um, things that I kind of feel like I'm letting slip, I need to implement them back into my life for sure, so. Um, guess I'm just gonna end the vlog here and end it with one of my favorite quotes that's on my wall and hope you guys have a really good day. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next one. Bye!